they will be enlightening you about the element titanium. What is titanium? Titanium has the element symbol Ti, as shown here. Also shown in the picture, the atomic number is 22 and has a mass of about 47.867 AMU. Next we have the Bohr-Rutherford diagram of titanium. In this image, we can tell that it has 22 protons and 26 neutrons. It has 4 shells with 2 electrons in its first shell, 8 in its second, 10 in its third, and 2 in its outer valence shell for a total of 22 electrons. Titanium is the 22nd element on the periodic table. It is in group 4 as well as period 4. It is part of the transition metal category, otherwise known as the D-block. Some more specific atomic characteristics of titanium are its atomic radius of 176 picometers. Titanium has an electron affinity of 7.62 kilojoules per mole. It has an electronegativity of 1.540 and a first ionization energy of 658.811 kilojoules per mole. Next, we will explore the isotopes of titanium. Titanium has many common isotopes found in nature. Ti-48, of course, is the most abundant, as its abundance is 73.72%. The other isotopes, Ti-46, Ti-47, Ti-49, and Ti-50, all have abundances of less than 9%. Titanium, a solid at room temperature, is ductile, malleable, and non-magnetic. It is not soluble in water, nor is it a strong conductor of heat or electricity. It is a lustrous metal with a high melting and boiling point of 1,620 degrees Celsius, and 3,287 degrees Celsius, respectively. This is one of titanium's many advantages, which we will explore later on. Titanium is also as strong as steel, though 40% lighter, and twice as strong as aluminum, though only 60% heavier. Its density is 4.5 grams per centimeter squared. This contributes to its many uses. Looking into chemical properties, we find that titanium is resistant to corrosion, yet another pro, and that it is non-toxic and non-radioactive. Its flammability is high when in powdered form, though quite low otherwise. In terms of reactivity, titanium forms titanium dioxide and titanium nitride when reacting with air. In acids, some complex compounds can be formed with titanium. With halogens, when heated, titanium-4 halides are formed. Finally, under normal conditions, titanium does not react with liquid H2O or with bases. Now let's dive into the history. Titanium is one of the first elements to be discovered during the time of modern chemistry, the time being just after the middle of the 18th century when they had started to discover the basic concepts of chemistry. It was discovered in 1791 by William Gregor, who was a British chemist. He decided to name this unknown metal Gregory after himself. We know today that he actually discovered ilmenite, a mix of oxygen, iron, and titanium. A few years later, it was rediscovered by German chemist Martin Heinrich Klaproth. He was also studying ilmenite, yet could not isolate it completely. He did manage to get titanium dioxide, though. Klaproth named this new element titanium after the titans of Greek mythology, the sons of the earth goddess. Klaproth thought he discovered this new element, but didn't. He ended up giving full credits to Gregor, yet Klaproth's name for the element titanium remained. The element was not successfully isolated until over a century later in 1910 by Matthew A. Hunter. In nature, titanium exists in two bonds, titanium dioxide, rutile, and in an iron oxide, ilmenite. They are the two main materials that contain titanium. Rutile and ilmenite make up 24% of the Earth's crust. This makes titanium the ninth most abundant element on the planet. Many of the advantages of titanium were discussed already, such as resistance to corrosion, highest weight to strength ratio of any metal, and high boiling and melting points. Now we will talk about one significant disadvantage of titanium, which is that titanium metal is very expensive to fabricate. It is so commonly found in titanium dioxide that this is a strong bond, and therefore tough to break, so the process of converting the oxide into a metal uses so much energy. To take the titanium metal from the titanium dioxide, it is first converted into titanium tetrachloride. This process must be done carefully, as the substance will turn back into an oxide if it reacts with oxygen. Though once the metal is successfully isolated from the titanium tetrachloride, it is fairly unreactive. This titanium metal can burn in oxygen in high temperatures, but cars and other vehicles do not reach these temperatures. In summary, titanium, being a strong yet light metal, would be excellent to make cars with if it was cheaper. The problem is yet to be solved regarding how to get titanium metal at a lower cost and using less energy. Now let's hop into the uses of titanium. Titanium has so many uses. Today we will only talk about a few, starting off with its use in boats. 
Boats have to be made to withstand the conditions of being in water all day, which is why titanium is perfect, as it will not rust, corrode, or break down. Many people choose titanium for boat parts as it will last longer than most other materials. Also, a common use of titanium in boats is for racing boats, as titanium is a light yet strong material. Going hand in hand with this is aircraft construction. Titanium is used for both external and internal use, such as in landing gear, internal components of wings, propellers, aircraft engine, etc. It is used in aircraft as it can withstand severe pressures of flight at high altitudes. Titanium, believe it or not, is also used for prosthetic devices. It has the ability to fight corrosion from bodily fluid, which is why it is a great choice and is widely used in the medical field. This includes things such as heart pumps, pacemaker cases, heart valve parts, and load-bearing bone or hip joint replacements. Dentists also use titanium in their practice. Titanium has the ability to fuse together with living bone, making it a huge benefit for dentistry. They use titanium in conjunction with the crown to replace missing teeth, which in turn helps prevent future jaw problems. These are four of the many uses that titanium has. Last but not least is interesting facts. Connecting to the uses is how titanium is used in jewelry, as it can be colored easily. Also, titanium is the only element that will burn in an atmosphere of pure nitrogen. Titanium has so many interesting facts, but I'm going to wrap it up with one more. That is that the Russians used titanium for submarines during the Cold War. Titanium gave them higher velocities as well as higher tolerance of pressure. This meant they could travel deeper under the water. A few key things to remember about titanium are its impressive strength for its low density and its resistance to corrosion, heat, magnetivity, and other factors. As a result, titanium would be an ideal metal to work with if it weren't for such high fabrication costs. It is found naturally in abundance on Earth and in abundance in useful products, be it medical or for transportation. Before watching, you may have underestimated titanium, but as you can now see, many of us use titanium every day.